Archaeologists in Egypt said today that they had discovered dozens of cat mummies, a rare collection of mummified scarab beetles, as well as an apparently pristine 5th dynasty tomb they plan to open in the coming weeks. The mummified beetles the first ever to be found in the area were among artifacts found in seven tombs discovered over the past six months on the edge of the King Yusurkov pyramid complex at the ancient necropolis of Saqqara, south of Cairo. The burial chambers also contained wooden statues depicting other animals and birds. As they were preparing the site to present the latest discoveries, Archaeologists found the door of another tomb that remains sealed, said Mustafa Waziri, Secretary General of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities. Scroll down for video cat worship in ancient Egypt It is believed that the ancient Egyptians cared for domesticated cats as long ago as in 3700 BC. Until recent times, it was thought that cats were first domesticated in the country around 1950 BC. Evidence of pet felines has also been found in China, indicating farmers cared for cats in 3300 BC. Archaeologists said that cats were also used as religious sacrifices in ancient Egypt over 5,500 years ago. Cats were known as Mao and were later important in Egyptian society and became a symbol of grace. Two goddesses took the form of cats mafted a lion headed goddess of justice and execution, and basted a cat representing fertility and motherhood. As a revered animal, some cats received the same mummification after death as humans and were often dedicated to basted. It is thought there were four main reasons for mummifying animals to be worshipped as manifestations of certain gods, act as offerings to them, provide food in the afterlife, and allow beloved pets to live on in the afterlife. Antiquities Minister Khaled El Anani said the discovery was made by an Egyptian archaeological mission during excavation work started in April. Three of the tombs had been used for cats, he said, while one of four other sarcophagi discovered at the site belonged to Khufu Imhit, overseer of the buildings in the royal palace. The tomb dates from the 5th dynasty of the Old Kingdom and is unusual because the facade and door are intact, meaning its contents may still be untouched, according to Muhammad Yusuf, director of the Saqqara area. Egypt has been whipping up publicity for its new historical discoveries in the hopes of reviving a devastated tourism sector still recovering from the turmoil following a 2011 uprising that toppled longtime autocrat Hosni Mubarak. The Fifth Dynasty ruled Egypt from about 2500 BC to 2350 BC not long after the Great Pyramid of Giza was built. The tombs lie in a buried ridge that has only partially been uncovered and could offer many more similar discoveries, Waziri said. Dot other statues depicted a lion, a cow and a falcon. Excavations in the area had halted in 2013 before resuming earlier this year. Saqqara served as the necropolis for Memphis, the capital of ancient Egypt for more than two millennia. Ancient Egyptians mummified humans to preserve their bodies for the afterlife, while animal mummies were used as religious offerings. Two large scarabs wrapped in linen and in very good condition were found inside a limestone sarcophagus with a vaulted, decorated lid, the Antiquities Ministry said in a statement. Another collection of scarab mummies was found inside a smaller sarcophagus. The mummified scarab is something really unique. It is something really a bit rare, Waziri said. A couple of days ago, when we discovered those coffins, they were sealed coffins with drawings of scarabs. 
I never heard about them before. Dozens of cat mummies and gilded statues of cats were unearthed, including a bronze statue dedicated to Bastet. The team also found painted wooden cobra and crocodile sarcophagi, a collection of gilded statues depicting animal features, as well as objects including amulets, canopic jars, which were used to store and preserve the viscera of their owner for the afterlife, writing tools and papyri baskets. Egypt's relics are a draw for foreign visitors and authorities hope new finds can help attract more as a way to help revive tourism hit by the unrest that followed the overthrow of former President Hosni Mubarak in 2011. The number of tourists visiting the country rose 54% to 8.3 million last year, still well below the 14. 7 million who came in 2010. Share this article Share his soul is powerful. But his pyramid became a heap of stone, the life and afterlife of Pharaoh Userkaf. The Fifth Dynasty ruled Egypt from around 2500 BC to 2350 BC, not long after the Great Pyramid of Giza was constructed. Pharaoh Userkaf was at one point believed to be the son of Queen Aferhidops, but excavations now suggest she was in fact his wife. However, other sources suggest he was married to Queen Kentkos.It was under his reign that the cult of Ra's, the sun god, started to gain importance. He built the first of a series of temples to Ra at Abu Sur, north of present-day Cairo, on the west bank of the Nile. Yusurkev built his pyramid circa 2490 BC in the shadows of Djoser's Step Pyramid an archaeological jewel in the Saqqara necropolis built around 2700 BC for the burial of Pharaoh Djoser. The pyramid complex of Yusurkev consisted of an outer casing of fine limestone, around a core which at some point crumbled into rubble. For this reason, it is known locally as al Hara el Maharbish, the heap of stone. Yusurkif's pyramid forms just part of a larger mortuary complex, which includes an offering chapel and mortuary temple.